Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Everybody don't come up, you feel me? But we out here. Jungle music. We in Baton Rouge right now. What's poppin', man? Chillin', man. Same old. Same old. Straight up. Straight up. And shout out to YB initial for 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 putting this together. Cause oh, yeah. you know shout initially, yeah, he he got it together. But we out here, man. Uh, right now, you know what I'm saying? The city going crazy. The whole world. Nobody Baton Rouge right now, mm -hmm. but we gonna talk about that later. But first of all, man, what part of Baton Rouge are you from? And uh, like, and, and what, what was it like growing up in your section? I'm from Good Oaks. I'm from the port right off Outland. Good mm -hmm. Oaks, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I mean, same way everybody else hood was. Same struggle, different hood. Nigga just elevated. Nigga glowed up. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't yeah. see the struggle. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. So. Like like when did you when did you start rapping and I, and then when did you start to like take the shit serious like I right, I'm gonna do this stuff. I had been writing this shit for like a little minute. I got my ass with one time writing some shit when I'm little. You hear me? Curse words and shit. But I had been writing, but like I met Trill. I met Trill when I was like a sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I met him in like sixth grade. And like by the time we got the high, we were already you know recording the shit, but we were doing it on our own shit. We mixing the shit ourselves. Like we took that shit serious, like. By what age was it? 12, 13. 19 right now, so about six years. You 19? Yeah, 19. Years I thought you was about 20, 21. Yeah, 19. Oh. I just made 19 this year. Hey, shit. Happy birthday, late birthday. Yeah, shit, man. Shit, shit, man. Shit, man. Shit, nigga been doing this shit about five, six years, some shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga went half or some equipment with Trill. We recording this shit ourselves. We made a little song. That bitch started doing some shit, then we remixed, uh, that nigga Go Yellow, bitch ass, we remixed this shit. Shout out to Go like, Yellow. We, yeah, we did that bitch, we kind of made that bitch seem like our track, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we went off on that bitch, that was the first track that really got recognized by mm -hmm. me, Trill, and my little nigga Mun, you know what I'm saying? So, so what, what, like, what was the name of that record? What's, what, and what, the record that you about to name, was it the one that... Made people take y'all serious or take you serious as a rapper. That, that, see, we got we got we had a couple of tracks before that that did alright, but like our first hundred thousand views mm -hmm. and came from bitch ass like the um, see murder down for my niggas beat. Mm -hmm. But like the way like I, I mixed the shit and shit myself though. I was doing all this shit myself. So the way I did it, I went got the beat off YouTube. I'm like man, fuck that. I need yellow in them hook. I took they shit like off SoundCloud yeah. and put them all on one track and just. Fuck it, let's do this bitch. That hook was raw, but mm -hmm. we knew, you know what I'm saying? We can come on the verse hard, so we just remixed that bitch and everybody started fucking with us. We got school, little fans at school and shit now, so now we fucking with this shit, fucking with the hoes and shit. They loving yeah. the nigga, so all that shit making a nigga want to fuck with it more, but like, to make me say, man, I don't give a fuck what I'm doing, I'm rapping, like, this is my job when my nigga Mud died. Because yeah. he want that shit more than us, like. Be like, like this. He wanted that shit more than us on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So when he died, that shit just made a nigga tune in with the music shit. You know? And else you gotta do, man. But, but earlier you mentioned that you was from Glen Oaks, mm -hmm. and um, I, don't, I know you know Q. Yeah. That's yeah. Q. Like he say that almost every line. Like y'all yeah. y'all from the same hood in Glen Oaks. Yeah. Or? See, Glen Oaks that bitch be, but it ain't that be. Like he ain't like the south and them shit with that bitch. I got a couple of the neighborhoods. The jungle. I'm from the jungle. I'm off the Nova and then. So that's he where jungle music came from. Yeah, that's where jungle music came from. Um, he from off Mika's place. He like from like Oak Apple and shit over there. He off this side. So mm -hmm. it's just like different sides. But like I've been fucking with you for a little minute too though. Like when I first started rapping, bitch would be like, bitch, I buy all your little weed from you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm some support type shit. The bitch yeah, always supporting me. You yeah. Tell them y'all doing the interview so they won't walk up yeah. and tell y'all shit. Yeah, yeah. We go, we go keep that rolling. Yeah, but man. right now, man, like you know. Every, when you when you mention BR, you we know Boosie, we know Gates. Yeah. Like who inspire your raps? Who inspired me? Who inspired your raps? Or who who motivates you I to mean, do your rap? I mean, it ain't all about Baton Rouge when it comes to my music shit. Cause like I listen to a lot of niggas that if I name them, you would be like, boy, you listen to that boy? Like mm -hmm. you listen to him? Like who? Oh, like I fuck with niggas like I fuck with J Cole. Like I fuck with a lot of niggas like who. Mm -hmm. I switch it up. Mm -hmm. I can listen to this type of shit. I listen to gangster shit, but I can switch it up too. Like, that come from fucking with all different type of music and shit. But like, as far as Baton Rouge, I fuck with Boo. Yeah. Grew up out Boo and Web. If you from Baton Rouge, shit, that shit was all really new. You know, really new at yeah. my age. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that was my real motivation. Cause those the niggas who made it out this bitch. Those yeah. the niggas who. So when I was a little boy, that's the type of shit I love. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to say this too. 
I don't I, I don't think this person get too much recognition enough. No. But OG Savage, Mob, King Sav. I don't kid you. But well, I'm say this. He he was the first one I seen. He from Baton Rouge. Yeah, he from Baton Rouge. He people miss all them all the time. Well, I don't know. He make you know. beats or something. Yeah, he make beats. He rap. King Sav, Map, uh, Mob oh, King. Savage. Yeah. Who? Savage. Savage. Savage on the beat. Savage yeah. on the beat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, he like the. He was like well. I don't oh, think. he got a rap name too. Yeah, Savage. Uh, yeah, but Savage I, used to rap with their hands in them. Yeah, yeah, but see, I don't, I don't think, I didn't think people like give him enough recognition though. They go, we go, we go say Boosie, but you're younger. Yeah. You feel me? So you might, you know, you say that, but I, I thought that like, man, like they, we gonna say, we gonna say Boosie, yeah. Webby, Mouse, whatever. That's cool. But yeah, but, like. Them, them, so, them niggas, them niggas boo and webbing, them, them niggas who motivated you, them, them niggas who got the jury on, and uh, so you on, you coming through in these charges, and they coming through, you won't be like that as a little boy on some shit, but like, like, I fuck with a lot of niggas from Baton Rouge Music or some shit, like, I was fuck handy, a lot of niggas, like, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of niggas on some shit that a nigga fucked it with, but like, them niggas just the most inspiring one. I feel you, I feel you on that, so, I'ma say this, I done said this to a lot of rappers, a lot of rappers, right now, it's, it's 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 something very special going on in this city. Right. I mean, you I got, right, bro. We can be the sickest, bro. Like no, y'all ain't y'all y'all are the sickest, but yeah. I think. But look, we the sickest, but we on we we can't elevate. And why is that? Nigga don't be like yeah. Right, this how this shit go. Nigga be on some shit like. I done did all this, ain't nobody put me on. Like, Baton Rouge got a problem with Ain't no nigga do shit for me, so I ain't doing shit for a nigga. Ain't no nigga put me in this position where I'm being, so I'm fucking with a nigga for now. So, mm -hmm. it'll never. Man, think about he and all these niggas on one track together, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I don't force the issue, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and, and it's crazy, like, it seems like you're mutual friends, or you cool with a lot of, like, I see you with Cheryl with Marty, or I, 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 I see you with But with these niggas cute. I knew before rap, like, it's yeah. only a couple niggas I knew through this rap shit, like, mm -hmm. I know through this rap shit. I know, I knew Marty before rap, I knew Q before, I knew he rapped and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, through some Glen Oak shit, mm -hmm. a lot of niggas I knew before this rap shit, so, Marty ain't start rap, he rapped, but he wouldn't rap, but he didn't take that shit serious when we was taking it serious, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, like, he just elevated, he just did his thing. So right now, co collectively, I can say Marty, I can say I can say Carlos, Wop, shoot, J. Lewis, all of y'all. Like, like, what are your thoughts on the overall scene, like, right now? Everybody doing that shit. Everybody need to keep doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody, if y'all want to link up and do this shit, we can do this shit. If you want to stay in your own lane to finish doing this shit, we can do that shit like that. I don't really trip, you know, or whatever. But mm -hmm. everybody doing that shit is working for everybody in their favor, so let them do it. You know what I'm saying?